So welcome everybody to this latest video on 162 Maths and in this video we'll be going over an AQA GCSE Maths Foundation Topic Test Basic Algebra 1. Now there will be a copy of the test paper for you to download and have an attempt at but either before watching this video or while watching this video by simply clicking on the link in the description below. Now before we get started it's worth mentioning that there's no indication about whether these questions are calculator or non-calculator so we're just going to assume that they are non-calculator and only in extreme measures will we use our calculator if we need it. So looking at question one it says work out the value of 35 minus 3 times 9. So this is a bid mass question so with bid mass we need to do the multiplication first so 3 times 9 is 27 so we're going to do 35 minus 27 which gives us an answer of 8. Question two, it says insert brackets to make the calculation correct. So we've got 100 minus 4 plus nine, uh, 3 squared equals 51. So then we've got 3 squared. So where we need to put the brackets here is that somehow what we need to do is because we're taking away from 100 is that somehow we need to make 49. What's 49? How do we remember 49? Well, that's 7 squared. So if we can turn the 4 and 3 into a 7, so if you put our brackets here, then that would give us our 49 that we need to make that 51. Then moving on to question three, it says put these in order of size, starting with the smallest, you must show you're working out. Now for this particular question, I think there's a bit of a typo because they've not actually individually labeled these three calculations. So let's first of all do that. So we've got A, B, and C. So if we work out A first, we've got three plus uh, six squared, which is 36, take away 10. Now because we've got adding and subtracting, you might think bid mass, but what we're going to do is just going to do with that because they're on the same level, adding, subtracting, just like multiplying, dividing, if you've got a combination of those, then you just do the calculation from right to left. Uh, so here, so left to right, should I say. So then here we've got 3 plus 36, which is 39. And then we take away the 10, which gives an answer of 29. Then with B, we do the brackets first. So we've got 20 minus 5 squared which then gives us 25. So we've got 20 minus 25, which gives us an answer of minus 5. And then with C, we've got 15 minus 54. And then that's divided by 3 squared, which is 27. Then if we do these to the division first, so 54 divided by 27 is 2. So that's going to be 15 take away 2, which gives us an answer of 13. So putting these in order, we get B, C, A. Well, question four, it says simplify A plus A plus A plus A plus A. And so here we've got six A's being added. So that's going to be six A. And when we're multiplying, we just join the things together. So that's going to be seven B, C. And then with question four C, so here we've got three D's and we're multiplying. So that's going to be 12. And then D times D times D is D cubed. Then with 4D, it says write as a single fraction in its simplest form. So again, what we need to do is to simplify this, which then becomes 5M squared. And then we look at this next bracket, which is 8N. And writing that as a fraction, we've got 5M squared over 8N. Now, I can't simplify the numbers, nor can I cancel out any letters. So my final answer is going to be 5M squared divided by 8n and then again similar sort of technique with the next one we've got 4 times 5 which is 20 do that in pink so 20 and then it's going to be n squared and then we're dividing now if we simplify this we multiply numbers with numbers so 2 times 7 is 14 and we've got an m so looking at this, the only things that cancel out are going to be the numbers. So what's the biggest number that goes in 20 and 14? That's going to be 2. So then what we're left with is 10n squared over 7m. Write that in the answer box. And there we go. Now just make sure that your 2 does look like a power of 2, not n2. Then moving on to the next one, it says circle the expression that describes 20 more than x. Now, 20 more basically means plus. So we're looking for 20 plus x, which is our second option. Question six then says one kilogram of bananas costs 87 pence. Write down the expression for the cost of bananas in kilograms in pence. Now, this is really important because obviously we don't need to convert anything in decimals. 
so there's no conversions needed so then the price of b bananas or b kilograms of bananas is basically going to be 87 b and then finally with regards to well not finally because there's two more questions so looking at question seven it says which of these can be written as 16 a squared b and it's worth two marks so there's a good chance that it's going to be two correct answers out of the four so looking at the very first one so here we've got two times let's just draw a little arrow so we can see which one we're doing so two times a is 16 a times a is a squared and we've got a b so that is the same so we could put a little circle around that for this next one here well we've got to work it out in bits so here that's going to be one bit because we've got this plus so 2 times a times a is 2a squared plus and then we've got 8b now there's nothing i can do with that so that there is not a correct answer looking at this one here we've got 32 well, this is one bit and that's another so here we've got 32a cubed right in there so let's right get rid of those random things here we've got 32a cubed and then dealing with this next bit we've got divided by 2ab now looking at this if i just write this as a fraction because it's a lot easier to see over 2ab now the 32 and the 2 cancel out so i've got 16 and i've got a 1 which is great because that means that's fine the a cube, I can cancel an A, so I've got A squared, but the problem is I've got B at the bottom, and that's not going to be correct, so that's going to be sort of not the correct answer. So moving on to the next one, I've got 32A cubed divided by 2AB. So looking at this one here, then what I've got is I'm then going to end up with, and this is going to be 32 divided by 2, which is 16, which is 8. Um, so I can stick that there. Actually, there is no B there because I've just remembered that the B is at the bottom, not in the brackets. It would look like this. And that then becomes 16. And then that A cancels with that to make 2. So what I'm left with is 16 A squared B, which is correct. I can put a circle around that one. Then moving on to our last question, it says that Keris has just had a birthday. She's now eight years old. Her brother Joshua is two years younger. Her sister Kia is twice as old as Joshua. Write down an expression for their total age. So for this, what we need to do is to state each of these people as separate ages. So if Keris is A, Joshua is two years younger. So that's going to be A minus two. And Kia is twice as the age of Joshua. So that's going to be two lots of a minus two so their total ages is going to be those three expressions added together so it's a plus a minus two plus two lots of a minus two is a plus a minus two plus two a minus four which then simplifies to give me six a minus four there is my final answer